Is that better? Are y'all actually able to hear me now, or...? Awesome. Sorry, I thought I went through, like, all my stuff before starting the stream, but I guess I missed something. My bad. Okay. Gonna go feed the cows. Okay, after I... Hey, Melody, how are you doing? And after the sun sets, I am going to go mine. And then I might even craft something. Another day should be good. Hmm. I'm sorry you're having a stomach ache, honey. Uh, you could try drinking a little bit of tea. That always helps me out. Okay, what all can I make with sugar cane? Okay, that did not bring up much. So I can just make sugar. Ha! I knew it! We can make paper. Ooh. Don't know what that does, but I'll find out. Very cool. I also have tea. <sighs> yummy, yummy tea. Let's see. Hmm. Neat. Put you right over there. Okay, I got some axes. I'm gonna put my hoe up. Yeah, I should probably take one axe with me. Um, yeah, I probably won't need that. I won't need that flower. Okay. Let's go mining. So, Michaela, how was your day at school? I am getting your name right this time, right? I hope so. I better be... I don't like this block. Oh, this is a gross block. Hey, I get it. I love you and I'm proud of you.
and I get up. I have to see this guy at work. And he and I used to be really good friends. He actually dated Abby for a while. But... <sighs> hmm. He wasn't a person I want to be around. I'll leave it at that. Yeah, it sounds like a nasty block. Um, do you have any homework that you need to get done? If so, make sure that you get it done, okay? With my check on Friday, I'm going to buy a mouse pad from the merch store that I just started up, and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I haven't used an actual mouse pad in years, just for, like, sensory issues. I also need to do more voice training. <sighs> but, um, Ruby on the server actually recommended me a good voice training app, so I'm going to start using that later on. Hey, redstone. Okay, so like this block can have other stones inside of it, or how does that work? Ugh. I need to go ask Merith. She's the one that really understands Minecraft, not me. Oh, Merith, you Calvin, yeah. Boop. So, Michaela, how was your day? Well, I mean, you already answered that. Michaela, what is your favorite block in Minecraft?
It's the gross block again. Okay, I'm connected back now, so I was able to double back. That's freaky. I don't like that noise. That is a bad noise. Ooh. My girlfriend's already asleep, so I can't go to her for cuddles. If I die, I'm blaming y'all. Heart attack. I'm old, y'all know it. How's everyone else doing today? Has everyone taken the time to eat and drink, blah, eat and drink and take care of yourselves, or? Yo, that's a mood. Also, what's up, Sauron? Mm. That's a mood. Um, what name would you prefer for me to use for you? And you know, if you... Oh, bet. Wait a minute. I thought you were Melody Dreams. Rip. That's okay, though. Gotcha. If it helps, my YouTube channel now literally uses my real name, since I am changing my name to Brynhildr Underwood. Okay. That's okay. Awesome. Oh no, the torch.
This is strangely satisfying. <laughs> nice. Welcome back. Oh, awesome. How's your stomach feeling? It's still pretty bad. Okay, I hope it does too. Um, my go-to home remedy for stuff like that is a little bit of tea or water, something to kind of, like, give you fluids, and then bread, crackers, or rice. Something that will basically help absorb things like stomach acid and whatnot. Well, this is going to be a fun stream, just me planting seeds the whole time. <laughs> um, so, do you want to tell me about your day, Melody? This is pretty soothing, though, I'm not gonna lie. Then again, I'm one of those weird people that really likes repetitive things, so... Oh yeah? Challenge and change, what's that? I've not heard of that. Then again, the schools I went through, like, was originally this little rinky-dink little bumpkin school where we had, like, the graduating class that I would have graduated with would have had less than, like, 40 people. Uh, and then I went to a city school whenever I, you know, everything went down. And my parents eventually got custody back of me from the state. And... 
Yeah, it was it was a city school. There wasn't, you know, a ton of anything. It was all very much Yeah, do the status quo. Yo, that's a mood. And I get that, and that's totally okay. I still want to get a cow suit and play Minecraft in a cow suit. Oh, wow. Doing the uh, little farm back there took the whole day, didn't it? Floating chest. Yeah? What's the favorite thing that you've written so far? Mine is definitely my little um, Dungeons and Dragons world that I've been working on since I was like 15. That's totally understandable. And I just want you to know that, like, I get it to an extent. I heard some moans. Oh, I forgot to make that pickaxe. Oh yeah? How was that received? Ah. Oh, bet. It might just be the noises outside, but I'm kind of hoping there's a cave system somewhere nearby. Guess we'll just go even further down here this time. Hey, Melody, I just want you to know that I'm proud of you, okay? I know being back at in-person school, especially with the pandemic going on as it is, like, it can be nerve-wracking, and I get it. But you're doing good, okay? You got this. And your friends got your back, okay? And I'm not even just talking about the ones from the server, but, like, your IRL friends, they got you. You're gonna be okay. No problem. 
trust me, it's a pleasure. Mm, I found the gross block again. It's ooey. Uh, what kind of tea did you end up making? Ah. Hmm. Oh no, my water block. Never mind, you can have the water block. Okay. I gotta go find some more water. I'm not going near lava without water. Oh, very cool. So, since I can't smell, and I love doing this to people, what does a blueberry muffin smell like? I have no context for any of that. I have a nosographia, I cannot, or a nosophoria? Whatever the thing is, we're like, my nose works, my sense of smell should work, but just the part of my brain that interprets scent doesn't. So I can't smell. So yeah, what, what does a blueberry muffin smell like? Do, 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 do. No monsters are out here. I should go ahead and make a little thing. <clears throat> Just in case I ever need it. That's awesome. I love it. Ugh, one sec. This ponytail is too tight and it's giving me a headache. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Got my crazy rainbow hair back out. Now let's go play with some lava. <clears throat> Ow. I am very dysphoric today about my voice, and I need to be practicing it more. Let's see. Okay. Hey, iron. I feel like I'm gonna dig right into lava. Oh, hi. Nope. Hmm. Hey, Melody. Since I need to practice my voice more, why don't you get... Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, let's use the gross block. Boop. Uh, will you give me a phrase to say and test out? No, my 
my torch. Because I have actually been working on this voice in particular. Which I do actually need to get into the habit of like really using. Because I think that it sounds very feminine and I think that it sounds pretty good. I heard that. That's a zombie. I'm telling the cranberries. They're gonna make a song about you. Ah, oh, my pickaxe. I think it's this way. That's a weird noise. Are you constipated, Mr. Zombie? You know we can do stuff for that. I can, we can do a colonoscopy, my dude. That's some weird noises, my guy. Are you okay? Bruh. Hi, you good? You sound weird. I don't think that's a zombie. I think that's something else. That's freaking me out. What the fuck? Hi. Ah. Okay. Oh, I am dying. Okay, so I guess don't attack villagers. That hurt. Jesus Christ. Okay. Where'd you go? No. Haha. <laughs> Get wrecked, son. Yeah, sorry. I've been catching myself cursing a lot more than normal. I'll try and get it back under control, I promise. Sadly, IRL... Aside from being way more shy than I am on the internet, I also curse like a sailor. What is this block? Ooh. It sounds good to place. Not much of a cave system. Oh, bet. Oh, I just noticed the phrase. Okay. <clears throat> testing, testing. One, two, three. Fruit flowers are used in fizz drinks. I like fizzy drinks. They taste very, very pleasant. And they make my throat feel really good. Especially after I've been doing a lot of voice training. Oh, very cool. This right here is my default voice, which I don't think is too bad, but like, most of the time people take a second trying to figure out, like, oh, is that a guy or a girl? And that's always kind of like, eh, 
That sucks, but okay. And like, I know I'm still at the pretty... The heck is that? Uh, okay then. Um, I know I'm still at the pretty early... Will you stop, my dude? I know that I'm still at the pretty early phase of the transition, but still. Well, thank you. I know that apparently a lot of people find my voice soothing, and I've actually had people ask me to, like, do a kind of podcast thing where I just sit here and read, like, bedtime stories and public domain stuff. I don't know. I don't know why people like my voice. Well, thank you, Melody. So, honest opinion, which voice do you think sounds better for, like, relaxing and is soothing? There's, of course, this voice. Um, but then you also have this voice, which I'm gonna have to practice a significant amount more. But that's okay, because the effort is important. And I'm worth the effort. Because I'm worth the good future, you know? Oh, huh, there ain't really anything down here, is there? Rip. I am very happy that my voice is soothing, though. Especially since, now that I have my merch store up, um... I am going to be saving up money, which I've already been doing through my Patreon. Oh, nice. Oh, very cool. Um, but I am looking forward to saving up enough money to hire a editor. And then I'm going to start doing um, video essays. So I'm really looking forward to that. And my first, and like y'all get to know this because y'all watch my streams. Um, but my first video essay is actually going to be the history of being transgender, not just in modern times, but like its history throughout the ages. Because being trans isn't a recent thing like a lot of people want to try and make it out to be. It's found historically throughout human history. Hey, like I said in the announcement, buying from the shop is not required. If you want to help us out, like, I love that, and that's incredible. But, like, if you can't afford it, please don't force yourself to. Just know that I love you, okay? I'll... It was just like upgrading my computer, you know? Like, I wanted to upgrade my computer for Twitch... But at the same time, I said I was going to use my Patreon to pay for it. But then I ended up not because I was like, oh, I can use that money for other things in the future once I have progressed more with everything. So, yeah. Ah! Oh no. My water. Okay, that's gonna... Oh no. Okay. Uh... Ah, okay. Bop, bop. Hmm. That did not go as planned. Well, thank you. I really appreciate you. 
I really just want to say that I love all the support and amazingness that this community has brought me. And I am so happy and grateful that I've got to like meet all of you and get all of this set up for y'all. And y'all are just fantastic. I love y'all. Um, I am hoping to put other things on the store. Hopefully I can get some stuff on there that is less expensive, like some stickers and stuff. So, yeah. And I'm gonna make some bricks. Oh, it is almost the night times. Oh, let me up. Okay. Let me up, let me up, let me up. And safe. Okay, awesome. Okay. Uh, tell me if I'm pronouncing this right, but, uh, Hijira. Hijra, Hijra, like that maybe, or maybe like Hydra. I don't know. The only other language I speak besides English is Dutch, <laughs> so I'm not the greatest at like other languages. Dutch is super weird, also. Oh, very cool. Oh, that did not work out how I planned. But that's really cool. Thank you for sharing that with me. <clears throat> um, other genders are actually super common in most cultures. And it's really only like more modern Western cultures that don't have third genders. 
And what's funny to me, at least, as someone who is, you know, Norse pagan, to the extent where I'm even taking the name of a Valkyrie, a lot of people will sit here and try and use Norse stuff to be like, oh, we need to be more like the Norse, even though, like, by the Norse standards, they would be considered extremely weak and very cowardly. And it's like, one of the last names I was considering using was Lokiborn, because that was a thing for the Norse, was that they had this thing where, like, occasionally Loki would curse someone, or bless, depending on, like, how it was seen by that particular tribe. And basically the way it worked was Loki put their spirit in the wrong body just to mess with them. So they were born, you know, trans. And it's like, you're sitting here using Norse stuff to hate on trans people, but at the same time, like, you need to read up on your lore. And let's face it, Loki was very gay. He openly had sex with both genders on a regular basis. Okay, let's make some more torches. For some reason, this particular music right here reminds me of the gnomes from World of Warcraft. I haven't played WoW in a while. I'm playing Final Fantasy XIV currently in the guild that I- or well, FC I guess, is extremely friendly. And I think I'm getting to the end of the, uh, A Realm Reborn storyline. So, that's gonna be fun. Which, if y'all want me to stream end game content once I reach it, let me know. Because I do already intend to do that for my own personal enjoyment. Mm, brood. Alright. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Ha! Ah, little secret tunnel. Secret tunnel! Se Whoa, wait, what? I thought you could only get flint whenever you use a shovel to do that. What? That's cool, bruh. Oh, hey, more iron. Ah. But yeah, non-binary genders have been recognized for a long time. Ah. Okay, that hurt. Um, I know the Celtics, or well, Celtics, technically, kinda had something. Um, I believe it was called Fae Touched, or the Fae Blessed, or something. Where, basically, people who acted weird and strange were seen as, like, oh, they come from the Fae, or something. I don't know, it was complicated, and I don't know a ton about, uh, anything Celtic. But I know that there's a ongoing theory about how that's, like, autism in the ancient world, basically, and how that was one of the ways it existed. It was like, oh no, my child was taken by the Fae, they're a changeling. And it's like, nope, your child is just autistic, my homie. So, yeah, fun times. Mm, 
Okay, I got more iron. I need to decide if I want to keep trying to fill out this cave system and see if there's more off branches. Oh, I heard that. There's a zombie this way, I think. Rar. XD Rar. Ooh, woo, Mr. Zombie, do you want to bite me? I can be cringe, bruh. I can out cringe you, I swear. Rawr. Yeah, y'all are getting to see a Brynn in her natural state. I am very weird. Rar. Gur, make more noises for me. I need to find you. Oh my god. I need to slap that on a t-shirt. Bryn, Bryn Rar Pog. I love it. That's great. Make more noises. Come on. Okay, I think you're this way. Need to conserve my pickaxe a bit. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm really getting all that much closer. Hey! Wow. I just went in a giant circle. <sighs> I mean, you can try and copyright it. Um, Abby and I are working on getting the Tran icon copyrighted currently. Although... Like, we can prove that it is our intellectual property, because, like, we have the messages from Otterstorm. He has given us ownership over that and everything, so... Or, well, she. My bad. So, yeah. Like, we can prove beyond shadow of a doubt that it is ours. We just need to make sure that we get it copyrighted for, like, obvious reasons. But we're working on that currently. Fun times. Okay. Nah, let me go. Okay, so I'm going in the right direction to get back home. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, is Lapis Lazuli used for anything? Or is it still just for dying things? Hmm. Well, rip. Well, that was a fun little adventure we got to go on. Yo, that's a mood. I get that. <clears throat> okay. Gonna take a break from mining, and I'm gonna build a little addition to the house. 
uh, upper floor, if you will. And I think I'm going to move my bed there, too. And this pickaxe is about to break, so... Yeet. Oh, lapis lazuli. Oh, it's used to an enchanting now. That's cool. I did not know that. Remember, kids, even though you play Minecraft, Wincest is not incest. Or, er, incest is not wins. <laughs> wincest is not incest. <laughs> no, that is very much incest. Do not do incest. <sighs> Lord. It really does. Um, I never really got that far into Steven Universe, but I really do love the music. And, like, sometimes I'll just listen to the music itself as, like, a way to relax. Ew. Um, who is your favorite character? Mine is Pearl. To me, she is one, goals, and two, I feel like I just connect a lot to her. Okay, what do I do with this? I have no idea what this is. There's nothing about that thing I understand. Okay, let's get some wood up in here. So I like wood. Wood is pog. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to build a staircase or do I want a ladder leading up there? I think I'm going to do a staircase. Uh, Sadie is the girlfriend to Steven, am I right? Ah. That 
that one got messed up. Boop. Okay. Well, hmm. You know what? Let me reverse this a bit. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, didn't she have a boyfriend named, like, Lars or something? And, like, a large portion of her character growth ended, her, ended up with her being, like, learning to move on from him. I need to go get me some sand so I can replace the windows I broke. Very cool. I know that one of my first fascinations whenever it came to history stuff was Persian history. And so anyone that looks like they could be from the Middle East, especially uh, Middle Eastern women, uh, especially those who look like they could be of somewhat Persian descent, like just seeing them, their interactions, the way their family works and all that, it fascinates me because the more I researched Persian history, the more entrenched it became with all the other history from the Middle East. And it was just really cool and awesome. Also, like, one of my crushes whenever I was growing up was a Persian young lady. So, it was actually funny. Her mom always called me Flower Boy growing up because apparently I smelled like flowers to her. So that was unique. Yo, that's a mood. Eh. Ah. Should probably move this axe closer. Okay. My birth name is very white. Jared Tyler. Uh, the girl that I dated who was from who was Persian. I love her last name. It was actually Maharaji. So, yeah. <clears throat> I just love pronouncing it. It sounds cool, you know. But I've always been a sucker for, like, cool-sounding names. Okay. Well, I definitely have the setup in a block shape, don't I? Hmm. Maybe I can be a bit more unique with it.
my name is supposed to mean like the one who watches the gate and guards the door with a spear or something. Which I always found ironic, because like, even though I like spears, my preferred weapon has always been the axe or the hammer. So, yeah. I just like axes and hammers. They're useful and fun. So, um, you've told me before, but why did you pick Melody again? Ah. That should be all nice and lit up. <clears throat> That's a mood. That's me with Bryn Holder, definitely. I know that the first time I heard Brynholder, I was like, oh, that's such a good name. I want that. And then I took it. Okay, that doesn't really work out, does it?
that's a mood. Um, in addition to that, I do believe that, like, names have importance. And that goes especially so for anyone who picks out their own name. Darn it. Come on. And then, boop. Yes. Okay. Ooh, better idea. Awesome. Little back door, heck yeah. And I think I just had an idea for a better way to set up the house. First, I need to come down here and do the thing. Boop. Okay, much better. Crap. Ah ha ha! There we go. I knew how to do it. Okay, let's see. What does this look like from the outside? Okay, I'm going to be doing some redecorating on the house. Get rid of some of the stone we got.
I think I'm going to let the wheat farm go another day before I harvest it and replant all the seeds. Because it does take quite a while to replant everything. Oh, I need to go feed the animals. We. Huh, I took less damage than I thought I would. I'm definitely thinking they're getting to the point where I can slaughter them. Now to go feed the chickens. See, how else could I make this look better? Hmm. What if I incorporated stone into it? I mean, I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, just gonna go around and do that to all of them. Oh, itchy ear. One thing that I will never enjoy about being human is having itchy ears. I hate itchy ears and I hate earwax so much. Also, welcome back, Melody. No.
I mean, I think this is starting to look pretty good. from the other side. So that goes all the way back. Yeah, I'm going to take this side all the way back too. So otherwise I'll just feel weird. Okay. Okay, I think that looks a lot better. Okay, I'm going to go feed the cows again. No, nope, get down. Gonna go feed the chickens, harvest my sugar cane, and then on the next morning I'm going to harvest my field of wheat. Hello. Here a zombie. Zombie. Eh, eh. 
I forget the name of the lead singer of the Cranberries, but I remember being super sad whenever I found out she had passed. Oh, nice. And hey, welcome back. How does your throat feel, by the way? Right, sorry, your stomach. I'm dummy. For some reason, I thought you had a throat ache. I get those a lot. Sorry, I'm thinking of something really stupid. I was watching a meme video earlier and this term came up that I keep thinking about and just how stupid it is. both your throat and your stomach get the feeling better. Man, by the time we're done with this world, there's just going to be sugarcane everywhere. I wish there were more crops that grew like this than sh just sugarcane, though. Well, at least we'll be able to tell whenever we're getting close to my base, whenever you show up and there's nothing but sugarcane everywhere. Uh, it is just a single player world. Um, why do you ask? Did you see Hero Brian? If so, clip it and send it to me. Is that a giant mushroom?
Excuse me, Piggy. Oh, hey, a ravine. Very cool. Oh, yeah, Jasmine, my little sister. Um, she does actually have a, uh, oh, shoot, Discord server, or a Discord server, a, um, Minecraft server that is technically the official Tran Minecraft server. I could have swore I saw a giant mushroom out this way, and now it's getting dark. That is a giant field of lava. I need to find my way back home. Okay. So, uh, Melody, if you don't mind me asking, just because I like to find out about other people, um, what are some interesting things about your family and culture and what... Oh, shoot. Uh, some interesting things about your family and culture and whatnot and how it's mixed with the culture found naturally in can well, found naturally, found currently in Canada. Oh, hello, skeleton. Ah. Oh, hi, a villager. I don't like you. Oh, I'm so close. Oh, that was a stupid idea to go chasing stuff. Ah, leave me alone. I don't like these kinds of villagers. Why do y'all look weird? Ah. Okay. Whoa. Ah, poisonous villagers. They are mean. Um, but yeah, I'm just curious. Because I don't know, like... Oh. Ah. No. No, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Okay, witch. Avoid witch. Got it. Jesus. Okay, well that's good to know. Lord. Ugh. But, yeah, I don't know, like, how... Oh, how do I phrase this? Hmm. Everyone's family is different, and for some people, like, the culture of, like, their ancestral home is super important to them, and for others, it's not so much. So, like, the girl I dated whenever I was young, it was fairly important to her mom that they live a lot more like how their cousins and everything live, who still lived in the Middle East. But for her, it wasn't all that important. And so, like, there was a weird clash between, like, how her mom wanted them to live versus, you know, the culture found within the U.S. Or at least in my part of Fayetteville. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm gonna go harvest all the stuff. Well, I should leave a couple of chests out there. That's a mood. I am happy that they realized that forcing you into it wasn't gonna, like, help you guys out. And I am definitely one of those people that is on the ground, or is on the mindset of forcing religion on kids is extremely wrong, and I do think it is the same as well, not the same as, but I do think it's akin to child abuse. Very cool. Okay. Gonna go collect more of the loot. Um, so do your parents know that you're trans? Because I don't know a ton about Islam, and I would actually love to know what they think about, you know, you being trans if they accept you. Hopefully they do. And, like, just how they go about that. Because maybe if there's ever any other, you know, people who watch my stream or anything that are Muslim, hopefully I could, like, point that out to their parents. Like, hey, check this out. And then from there, you know, help them then, or help them to get the support of their family. Okay, that's a mood. I get that. I feel that. Try and get this field replanted before the day is up. I think tomorrow in game I am going to check out that village that I saw while traveling the ocean. And then I think I'm going to go back to looking for diamonds.
Oof. I'm sorry they get seen as second class citizen. They definitely deserve better. So do they let you at home, do they let you, like, dress femininely and act, you know, do they let you perform your gender openly without hostility? Because I know that's something I still have yet to experience with, like, my mother and stuff like that, which is one of the reasons why I'm happy that I don't live in her home anymore. That's a mood. Um, I know that you post a lot of pictures of you hanging out with your friends on the server. And with those pictures, at least, you definitely seem to be a lot more comfortable and happy than what you sound like sometimes. And you definitely seem to be performing uh, more feminine attributes and whatnot. That's a mood. It took me a little while to actually get to the point with my family where I was like, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. You don't have to be happy about it. You don't even have to support me or accept it, but you definitely don't get to disrespect me because this is what I'm doing, period. And if you don't like it, don't look. Um, how about your friend group? Are they have they been pretty supportive? I should ho I would like to hope so. Like you deserve good friends. You're just such legitimately a nice person. Stupid fly, leave me alone. One of the few disadvantages of living in the country.
Gonna bring some of the dirt with me tomorrow and do some illegal dumping. Hey, I get that. Um, you should definitely put yourself in a situation where you're actually comfortable and feel safe. That is like a number one priority. And I'm happy that you have a friend that you can do that with. That's kind of like Abby and I whenever, you know, he and I moved out. that. Let me dump all this first. Phew. Oh, huh. I can just shotgun the dirt. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I shouldn't get distracted. I should go to the village like I said I was. Well, hey, if you want, you can always feel free to uh, let your friends join the server. I got cats playing on my bed. Um, and just a reminder that like you don't have to be trans to be in tram. We have an ally role for a reason. What the heck is that? Horse! Oh, horse. Oh my god. Can I ride you? Ah. Oh. Let me, let me, hey, ah, forward, come on, how do I, ah, okay. Ah, okay. Uh. So that does ow, nothing. Hmm. Wait a minute, this is only like three or four things from being like a portal. Bruh. Binding. What does binding do? Uh oh. Uh. Get. How? What the fuck? Did I just mess up? <laughs> Oh, oh no. Oh no. I think I just messed up. I can't take it off, can I? Oh, that sucks. Crap. I know, right? Ugh. 
crud. Well, now I know. I wonder if I can get these blocks. <gasps> what do you do? Magma block. Hmm. What are these other ones? Ooh, netherrack. Yo, netherrack has a recipes? Nether. Hmm. Guess not, never mind. Okay, Melody, what do you think? Should I go ahead and explore this area, or should I leave it for another time? Okay, got it. Ah. Man, I swear, this is just like me in real life. Like, haha, I'm gonna do the thing, followed immediately by ow. I should have broken a lot more bones than I have. <laughs> I am durable. Okay. Hey, I just realized I'm the same level as the age I am IRL. Man, it's kind of hard to think that, like, soon I'll be hitting the one year anniversary of when I started Transition. And, like, I haven't even started seeing the full effects of HRT yet. Like, you don't see a lot of the effects until around the two year mark. Awesome. Hey, so what does magma do? What do I do with magma blocks? I've never seen those before. And I thought netherrack was only found in the nether and was used for, like, growing a fungus or something. Because I know, like, whenever I left, it was whenever the uh, alchemy update came out. Or the chemistry update. Whatever. The thing that lets you brew, like, potions and is, like, super confusing. Okay. So do they have, like, any real source 
or not source, any real use. I felt a kitten reach up and bat at my hand. Nice call. And up we go. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, baby. Hi. Oh, who's a good baby? Yeah, my baby boy. Do you want to be seen by the people on my computer? By the little gay people that I spend all my time with? Yeah, you do. Oh. Mm, baby. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what exactly is a whirlpool? Okay, baby, you gotta move. I mean, I know what a whirlpool is, but in Minecraft, what does a whirlpool do? Does it just pull things down, or...? Ow. Skull, lay down. Gotta lay down, buddy. Oh, it pushes you up instead of down. Okay. Fun. So, just a heads up that the stream is only going to last about another 45 minutes, okay? Very cool. Yeah, I was talking to Jasmine about this on my last stream, but I kind of was not paying attention to the time. Um, I really don't like automation in Minecraft. I don't mind if other people use it. I just feel like, to me, it ruins the spirit of the game, you know? Ah. Flee. Bubble columns, I love that.
think I got a pretty good haul. I agree. Um, yeah. I definitely agree. Tokyo Drift. That's a mood. Um, I think part of it... Have you ever played Stardew Valley? If you haven't, it's a fantastic game that I recommend everyone play at least once. Um, but in Stardew Valley, as you play the game, you're expected to automate more and more things. And part of it is that there's only so much time in the day... So a large portion of leveling up is how much you're able to um, automate. Because like there's a huge difference between a person with a fully automized farm that only has to spend like one or two days out of the whole week focusing on like getting everything set up, putting things in kegs, like all this other stuff, and a player who doesn't have to worry about that at all, you know? Or rather, a player who, like, has to spend a lot of their time going through, watering their stuff, planting everything, doing all this stuff. You know, having it automated it just frees you up so much, lets you generate so much more income, and lets you do so much more and accomplish so much more in the game. I feel like that's kind of how it is on Minecraft. The more automated everything is, the more time you have to, say, build things and do other stuff. There's so much underwater stuff now. And honestly, it kind of scares me. It's a turtle! Oh my god. Can I, can I tame turtles? Hey, can I tame turtles? Can I feed you? Do... Can I... Fuck, what do I feed a turtle? Can I tame turtles? I want to tame a turtle. Can I ride you? Here, get in the water. Hey. Oh, you want to be up here. Okay. Oh. Ooh, very cool. Uh, what do turtles do? Do they have any, like, special use in the game, or...
Hello, horse. Seagrass. <laughs> okay. I should have brought more bread. Once I get the resources to do it, I'll probably build a mine track that runs to the village. And then I can just hop in it and AFK for a minute and talk to y'all while I ride. Yo, they look so different. And they got like pig setups now. What the fuck is that? What is this thing? Is it like a bee thing or? Oh. Okay. Hello. Okay, do I. Okay. Ooh, they got leather stuff. Neat. Wait. Novice. What? I don't know what that means. But I'm stealing your crap. Oh, neat. Fun. Huh? <gasps> Iron golem. Do y'all even have potatoes? Are these potatoes? <gasps> Carrot. Bro, I'm taking all your carrots. Fight me. Here, I'll give you back the uh, wheat seeds. Oh, very cool. The... Okay. So I'm stealing this. Thank you. Hey, I'm gonna have to fight the Ender Dragon. You know? You don't have... Oof. You don't have to do that. So, like, we're even. Yo, are those hay bales? What do hay bales do? Can I, like, put these in, like, a um, cow pin and, like, let them breed on their own without having to go in and manually do all that? What does hay do? I heard a zombie. Oof. Lots of resources. Okay, neat.
So, hey, question, Melody. So I'm gonna count this Let's Play as complete after I beat the Ender Dragon. I assume that's gonna take freaking forever. Uh, what are the steps I have to go through to actually do that, though? Uh-oh, sun is setting. Got it. Cool beans. Okay, I think I pillaged enough. Huh. Dogs! Oh no, I didn't bring any bones! I want a dog! Can I feed you? Uh... One sec. Okay, so netherite. How? How? What makes us stronger than diamond? Is it just like higher, kind of like iron is stronger than gold? Or <gasps> yes, this works. Hey, come here. I'm trying to feed you. Bruh. Can I feed you? Oh. How do I tame you? Okay, I can give them chicken. I don't got no bones. Darn. Okay. I'll come back with the bones, I promise. Okay, my boat should be on the other side of this little area. Hmm. Fine, I guess I'll come back with bones. Stupid, terrible game, not letting me tame dogs with chicken. Unbelievable. Zero out of ten. Completely unrealistic. Weird. Yeah. Well, at least there's more chickens. Okay. 
come here. Wait, why am I doing this? I have a chicken farm at home. Rip. I'll try them. So, I know diamonds are supposed to be found under uh, 16 axles. Is there anything special on like finding netherite or... Okay. Yeah. Okay. I need to get me a ring light. That's something I definitely need to get for myself. Hello. Okay, now I'm going to go slaughter the cows. And then I will repopulate them a bit. Or, well, I'm going to leave four alive. Also, thank you all for telling me that does an AoE attack. Oh, wow. Oops. 
two, so four. Okay, and y'all are the lucky survivors. Congratulations. May the odds be ever in your favor. Here, you get to have a treat after going through that incredibly traumatic ordeal. Yeah, that's a mood. Um, that's actually one of the reasons I really like Stardew Valley is because you don't have to kill anything if you don't want to. I was going to say, I know there's a way to turn nuggets back into bars. Uh, how do you get golden carrots? Why, why? I assume it uses gold ore. So why not just use bread and stuff? Or baked potatoes? Wait, baked potatoes I assume you have to cook in here. Wouldn't that mean that they give you experience too? Wouldn't that just make them default, to default into a super good thing to constantly consume? Oh cool, it doesn't work through glass. Poop. Haha. Uh -huh. You can't get me. No 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 no. Oh. Ha. Ah, okay. Ha. Ah. For a second I thought it was gonna be able to open up the door and I was really really freaked out. Ah, uh, oh. That scared the crap out of me. Okay. Oh, Jesus. I made a mistake. Oh, yeah? Come on, this side, dude. Or you can... Hey, come in. Come on. Dude. Come inside, bro. Hey. Dude, are you okay? 
Here, look. Hey, come on. Come on. Get inside. Bro. Bro, are you okay? Well, that definitely wasn't difficult. Let's see, where are the others? Hey, there's one. Come on. Ah, okay. Okay. Ow. 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 Ow, that was a lot, a lot more painful than I thought it would be. Ah, <laughs> lame. Hmm. I don't really see any others. I also need another sword. I don't know why I got another one. Take yeah, I am gonna have to collect their pearls, I guess. Okay, that's a move. Well, peeps, aside from going deep into the mines, there's not really much I can do at this point. So I'm going to call it done for the stream. Um, I love you all greatly. Uh, please feel free to check out my merch shop. I will be putting a link to it in my Twitch description, which I forgot to do earlier. You can also find a link to it on the trans server on the YouTube uh, buying stuff from there definitely helps me out a lot. I'm going to be adding a lot more stuff to it uh, in the upcoming month or two. Like, a lot more. And a lot of stuff over time may become phased out. So, like, you know, if I ever become big and famous like PewDiePie, then I guess you could have clout or something. I don't know. I'm not going to become that big. Though I would love to get to the point where, like, I can do this as my job that would be freaking amazing just spending all day playing games for y'all and then getting to help people and then getting to do cool things with y'all that'd be really cool okay um i love you all make sure that you've eaten and drunk if you haven't today uh if you're feeling bad just know that i'm proud of you life is difficult sometimes and i get it you know there's no inspirational thing here that'll fix anything i just want you to know that i get it it's gonna be okay. It gets better. I love you, okay? You got this. And you're gonna be okay. <laughs>